Yes, I'm reinvesting right now. This year, I will invest. I'm not joking. I will invest about $12,000 in marketing into a new market, into a new county before I even reap a dollar. Because I'm, I'm building out an entire county and I'm building out hundreds of pages and blog posts to basically saturate that county with blog posts. We're producing, if you're following me, you see me, we're producing 54 pieces of content a day across nine social media channels, saturating that market. I have a full-time person dedicated just to, to social media marketing and putting out content. We put out shorts, one video and one short per day across seven social media channels. We're building, I'm building a team in, in, right now in, in South America that can do the social media marketing for us for a quarter or less of what I can pay here. That's my goal. Because then I can transfer that and say, you're doing this. And instead of paying $250 a day or $150 a day, now we only pay about $20 a day to have a team do it. You have to put it back in. You have to put it back in. You have to put it back in. If you think I'm going to do all this marketing, I know pay me back because I've done it before. I have a track record. So I am going to be doing around 48 cities in one county. We're going to be doing about 25 pages in addition to the city page blogs around that city talking about ant control, rodent control, flea control, plant control, natural this, natural that, organic that. So take 40 something cities times 25 pages. Look how much we have to build out. But I have software that I can do it. I can I have AI software that will kick out 25 blogs in about one hour. And all I have to do is tweak it because I can teach our I can teach our AI to understand our brand and understand my brand voice and understand what how we're unique and program all that in there. And that took hours and hours and hours and hours I invested in that. 40 hours or more just training a piece of software. You have to put in the time. You have to put in the money. You have to eat the frog. It isn't going to happen for you. And, and you're, a lot of you are throwing the towel in. You're frustrated because you're listening to all these nitwits, a 24-year-old kid telling you how you can make $100,000 a month on Amazon and how easy it is. If it was that easy, he wouldn't be teaching it. He would be doing it himself and keeping his mouth shut because he's making, I'm not banking $2 million a year. My goal is to get my company up to around $2 million and sell it because I can get 2.5x valuation on a, on a brand like mine, easy. So I can walk away with five and a half, six million dollars $6 in the next five years if I build up my brand and I sell it because that's where you'll make your money. You have to build up a brand either your comp for your kids to take over, your family to take over, for you to build it or to then sell it and retire. And if you're 55 years old and you just got kicked out of the company because you were top dog and they didn't want to pay you that because they could pay two 25 year old kids what they used to pay you to spray perimeters and you're going to start up. Guess what? You don't have 15 years unless you want to be spraying buildings and, and the inside of buildings with a BNG and Bifen until they put you in the ground. That's not what I want for you. So I can't tell you and sugarcoat it and pump up sunshine up your tailpipe, you know, with, with rainbows and you're going to crap out a purple unicorn. It's not the reality. So many, so the, the amount of people that grow their business to a million dollars, is like in the top 10% of businesses that actually, that are existing that grow to a million dollars. So your job is to go in there, be ruthless, do whatever you have to do to take the business. You should not be caring. I'm good. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You should not be caring what your competition thinks. I got people, well, how are they doing $39 a month? That's ridiculous. Here's doing it. They're charging $39 a month every single month on a credit card automatically and servicing that house every three months. So they're making about $120 to $140 a quarter while you're trying to sell it for $99 a quarter. They're getting 30 to 40% more, and you're saying, but they're a crappy company. Yes, they are a crappy company. And what does that say about you? I don't care what my competition says. 
I don't live for, for the people in this industry who can judge me, who sit there in a truck all day, like I see across the street every single day. And he says, bro, I'm tired of being in this truck. I'm tired of being in this truck. I got a part-time guy. How do I get out of this truck? I want to be in the office. I see all your videos. I see what you're doing. I said, dude, I busted my ass for 10 years. You got 10 years? No, then do this. But I don't like that. Can't help you. That's the tough reality, brothers. I wish I could sit here and tell you, if you buy my program, if you buy my course, I have an easy button for you. I don't have an easy button for you. I just have hard advice that's tough to swallow. But if you eat the frog and you swallow it and you go out and execute on it, you will see success. You got to get past here, the mentality, and go execute it and not care what anybody thinks. If you have to give that service away to get somebody to try it, give it away. Because in the meantime, you're sitting there doing nothing. If you got go to network meetings, you know, if, if that's what you rather do and you'd rather be in a truck by yourself, not have any employees, wait until you're old enough, okay, that you can no longer do it. Wait until you get sick and you're out for a month. And you lose half your clients. Because if you're in a large metro market that is full of vanity like Miami, like Los Angeles, like New York, where nobody cares about you. Nobody cares who you are. Your customers are not going to care if you don't show up. But if, if you're telling me you want to grow, if you're telling me I want to start up, how do I start up? What is the first thing that I do? Go start knocking on doors. Because if you didn't build a network of relationships when you were in the industry, you're up a creek without a paddle. If you didn't save up $100,000 for marketing, which everybody starts up and they buy the truck and they buy the chemical, they buy all the equipment, they get nice logos, they get a nice website, and then they have zero money for marketing. Not realizing that 50% of that money needed to go to me. I would have rather you got a truck with a magnetic sign on it, a Bifin and B&G, and sprayed the heck out of everybody and put all that money into marketing. The thing is, I don't know how to market. Everybody's ripping me off. Everybody promises they can deliver. Again, you need to learn sales and marketing if you want to grow, especially in an economy like this. You know what it is to start up in the last year post-COVID? During COVID, start a pest control business? I started that in 2009 when the economy tanked. But dude... I had already 25 years of sales experience. I could talk to anybody. I walk up to a total stranger. I would walk up to a 10-year-old if I had to and ask him if they needed pest control. Mommy, this guy's asking me if he wants pest control. Because I don't care. As long as what I'm doing is ethical, honest, transparent, the media and the method does not matter. It's the message. Advertising, advertising, it hasn't changed since the days of Mad Men. Since the of David Ogilvy, one of the brilliant people in marketing. Humans are still humans. People are still people. The only thing that changes is the media. The message doesn't change. Every box is new and improved. Everyone has a special price. Everyone has a discount. Everyone has a free offer. If you don't have a strong offer in your marketing, your marketing is going to be, you're going to, you're going to have a paper. You're going to have a box of, 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 of flyers and door hangers that are useless. You need a strong offer if you're going to put out marketing because people are getting hit with 50,000 pieces of marketing. Kind of, I mean, I scroll to Facebook. All I got to do, if I want to test the algorithm, I will go to Google right now and put something that I'm looking for. And within one hour, I will have 20 ads on retargeting ads on my Facebook targeting me for that I search for. You know, if I did, if I did, I, I started, it was funny because, you know, my fiance, I was looking for a wedding ring and all I did was type up wedding ring and then I was screwed. <laughs> I mean, I had marketing after marketing on wedding rings coming through my feed, you know, for, for that because that's how it works.
it's it's that repetitiveness in marketing that's effective. If you can't do it 13, 14, 15 times, and you said, I just did it once, and I can't afford to do it again because it produced no result, you don't understand that that's the same investment as when you bought the truck, when you bought the chemical, and it's sitting there in your truck right now, and you're still paying five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month for that truck, plus you put all that equipment on a credit card because you had no money to start up. 90% of you guys did that. You put it all on a credit card. And now that credit card, that one year is up and you're still having made the money. And now you're on fifteen, twenty thousand dollars You're paying three, four hundred dollars a month in interest. And it still hasn't materialized what you thought it was going to be like. Because in your heart, you wanted it to be easier than it really is. You thought it was going to be easier than it really is when the reality is something else. You realize that only 4% of Americans have savings. Everybody's broke. Nobody has savings. Nobody has investments. You don't want to grow your business? No problem, brother. Take all that money, put it into real estate. You want to become a day trader of stocks? Good luck. It's, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Hey, guys, if you got any questions, I'm here live. I can see your questions. You can type them in. I'd be glad to answer. I got some time because I'm going to be here a little while. Why I'm waiting on my fiance to finish up what she's doing. I'm on my own. And um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this here. Nobody leave. I have to walk over here. I'm going to go and get... Uh, my cigar lighted and I'm going to sit here for a couple minutes and see if you guys got anything you want to talk about and don't leave. I'll be right back.